if you want to know how I got this no cut crease look I told you I'm gonna be doing some more of these and why am I doing my hands like this keep watching hey guys welcome back your girl's tad but I'm but I'm here I don't know what I was gonna say but I'm here it is oh my phone is gonna die it's 9 41 Sunday December 22nd really and uh, yeah we are going to do another no cut look I love no cut looks just charging up my phone I love no cut looks because it gives you that illusion so today I'm gonna be working with this Saharan 2 by Juvia's Place I'm gonna be working with this palette to do my no cut look and I'm excited because I let my looks come to me naturally. I don't plan it. I don't. I just let them come to me naturally. Like a palette will pop into my head, or a color will pop into my head, or, or an actual style. Like, you know, and I'll just go from there. So let's get started. So, hey guys, I'm going to be jumping in with the Saharan 2 bl blush palette. The Saharan 2 eyeshadow palette. I went in with that burgundy, burgundy color that I just indicated on a MAC 217 and I'm just going to pack that on my outer V. I didn't like what the eye look was looking like but I just kept on and trust the process like I always tell you guys. So I'm going to be taking that on another MAC 217 brush. I have like six or seven of these brushes. I zoomed you in a little bit. I felt like I was too far out. I'm going to pack that orange right on top of the burgundy. I didn't like this color because I felt like the burgundy and the orange kind of blended too much. They were too, too close, in my opinion. So I love the look of it, and I love how it came out, but I feel like I should have chose another color. So now I'm going to be going in with this, um, I think this is the Nubian palette, that medium brown color on a JH34 just to blend under my brow. But I like how I looked at for, like at, like at the end. So I'm using a Crown C510 brush just to cut my crease with some concealer. Nothing crazy. Um, I'm gonna name this video "Tired No Cut" because it's like a cut. But then I was doing, I was just throwing it on because I was tired. So I'm just gonna be going in with that first color, which is that burgundy on the, on the Mac 217 I used originally for this burgundy color when I first laid down the color. And I'm just going to be blending a little bit of that black on top. And then I'm going to be going back in with the burgundy and then black and then burgundy and then black. Just to deepen up my outer V because I just needed some definition on the edges. So see, I'm blending here. And then I'm going to be taking that coppery kind of color. And I'm going to use that with the same JH34 brush that I use for under my brows. This is like a penny coppery kind of color. I like what it was looking like, but I felt like I needed more definition. So I went in with this brush, on, with this color on a MAC 217 brush just to create some definition and a bridge color between the lid color and the outer V. This brush, I'm mad it doesn't have a name. But it's a crown brush. This brush applied. I don't like this brush. This brush applied my foundation so well. Like, look at it. Like, I have great foundation brushes, like Real Techniques. I love the Morph M439. But this right here is different. It's super dense but fluffy. Oh my god. Like I always warm up my foundation on the back of my hand. But this is hitting different. Like this this is this is nice. Like this looks so good. What brush did I, oh I didn't like the um let me not say the brush name. <laughs> Let me not go there, but everything else I like, but not that brush, girl. But anyway, um, 
Like, look. Woo, I'm about to give me two more of these, girl. Two more of these. So I ended up buying four more of the brushes. It's the Crown Pro Angled C532. And oh my God. So I use the C508 brush. I've been loving Crown. So I'm going to be implementing a lot of Crown brushes in my videos to come. But yeah, this is a C508. And I just blended and set my contour and a highlight. Because you've seen that already. You know what I mean? You know. So now I'm going to be setting all over my face with the Benai. Neutral set, I set my highlighted areas with banana powder, and then whatever wasn't set, I'm going to be setting it with the Spend Night Neutral set. But yeah, like I was saying, the crown brushes are amazing. So you'll hear me say C5, blah, blah, blah. Those are crown brushes, and I'm just making sure my face is all the way set, baby. Like, oh my God. So I'm going to be taking this brush. I love this brush to contour. This is a, I want to say, oh no, I didn't put my brush that I used. It's a Jacqueline Hill brush. Um, I forgot I didn't write it down. And this is my Juvia's Place setting brush. I'm just going to be over, going to be over. I'm going to be go over, going over my banana powder with my Studio Fix NC45 face powder, just highlighting all over the face. I think that was a JH08 to contour, if I'm not mistaken. I actually love that brush a lot, so I believe that that's what that brush was. I was using, cool, not cork, I was using blunt blush just to contour my face, and then sometimes I'll go in with a deeper blush. But now I'm going to be going in with my... Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 360 Mocha. I know the color is Mocha, but I think it's 360. And I'm just going to be using that on that same brush from the uh, Jaclyn Hill. <laughs> Sorry. The Jaclyn Hill brush. That's my favorite brush. Like I use it all the time. The No, that's the, no, the JH08 is my face brush. This is a morph brush that I'm using Sweetest Cocoa on. This is a Juvia's Place highlighting brush, and I don't know what my face brush is, unfortunately. The JHO is to set my face, and the J, yeah, I I'm not too sure, but I know it's a Jaclyn Hill brush. But you can use any fluffy brush if you don't mind. But yes. Now I'm just going to be blending my highlight. I feel like I'm more over just because I use the same brushes all the time and sometimes I forget to write down a brush. So yeah, I just forgot my contour brush and it's irritating me for some strange reason. But it's okay. It's just one brush that I forgot and I'm not telling you. It's okay. So this is the Absolute New York Brow Pencil in Smoke. Now this is the ColourPop Pencil in Dark Brown. So I use the dark brown in the front and the smoke in the back just to create an ombre effect. But not an ombre effect, but just a softer brow in the front. I love my makeup that day. It came out so good. Now I'm using the Ben Nye, New the Ben Nye Final Seal. And then I'm going to go over that with the Ben Nye Neutral Set. Just to make sure that my face is all the way snatched. Snatchy, snatchy. Okay, so the look is pretty much done. Loving it. Um, I'm going to be spraying this Omgo Glowed Up. So it's Omgo Highlighting Finishing Spray. I took this out of my kit because the one I was using is called Incredible and I do not have any more. I have yet to order more. I didn't know I was going to run out of it so fast. I was literally using it every day. So this is for people who... Okay, because, you know, these are for, this is for a person, um, light to tan skin tone, in my preference. The one I was using was perfect for me because I'm brown skinned. And then they have coffee for deeper skin tones. So this is not even for me to be using, in my personal opinion. I would rather my incredible. But this is glowed up. And I like it. The only thing I don't like about it is... The shimmer gets everywhere, so I'm going to have to cover my brows. And I'm going to have to cover my lashes. 
I'm gonna have to put on a bonnet. That's what I was just looking for. I'm gonna have to put on a bonnet. I gotta suit up because this gets everywhere. So I'm gonna suit up and I'll be back to show you how I spray it. Yeah, but it's a really nice setting spray. But you gotta be super duper careful. Like you see, I am suiting up, girl. Like for like I'm going to do surgery, baby. Life transplants and all that. But yeah, you have to be very careful. I just sprayed it on my face. I'm going to show you. I'm gonna try to get close up. This has shimmer in it. It looks so good on the skin. Beautifully done on the skin. But you do not want this in your hair. You don't want it in your lashes. You don't want it in your brows. You don't want it on your clothes. It's literally all over me. So I'm gonna get closer. Okay, perfect. Do you see the flex on my band? But I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Clear Mascara, just touch out those brows. I hate when I miss this step because it just makes my brows look super duper flat. <laughs> Baby. Hello. Why are you yelling? <laughs> okay, so this is the final look. I got a little work. I'm playing around, messing with Instagram and YouTube and TV and yeah. So this is the final. Look, touch up my little part, two seconds. Touch up my part. With some NC45 powder on a flat brush, kind of like fluffy flat. Yeah. And this is, uh, let me get the mirror out the way. And this is the final look. Everything is together. My baby hairs are super flat, but whatever. But this is the final look. Super duper pretty. And I hope you guys enjoyed my video. And I'm off to work until my next one. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.